What's up guys? This is me. Oh, there's a audio spike. This is me, Dexter, again. Um, this is week four, day six, apparently. I'm not consistent enough. So what I'm hearing. Uh, hang on, hang on. Um, and I heard that I'm not doing any of my plans from my special someone. She told me, oh, you're not consistent. You're not watching videos. You're not this, not that. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Maybe I, I'll admit to some that I did, I don't do, but hey, I'm still um, I'm still uploading videos. It's only one day apart. I know I should be consistent, but sometimes consistency can makes you burnt out in life. Uh <laughs> Enough with the chit chat. This is me, Dexter, again. I'm doing a challenge to myself. And I plan my how my week is gonna go. And I'll follow through that. And so far, my short term goals is buy equipments, buy five books, make a desk, computer desk, and make a bed frame for my bed because I don't have any bed frame at the moment and one of the goals are already well semi finished I'm only waiting for you know squat rack with a cable on it so I could do flies and that but I do have a multi functional bench which is good because that makes me makes my you know weariness to a middle point so, and I don't have to go to the gym because gym is expensive and waste of fuel I keep forgetting to unsubscribe to the membership <laughs> I guess I'm nearing that age, eh? <laughs> um, anyways, I've done my routine today. As I said to the previous video. For those who are new to this channel. Uh, my routine was stretching. Check emails. Boil water so I could eat bread and my lewd milk and then after that I go to work go to work and since it's my day off I just chilled today and I read some novel although it's not the art of war because someone said I have to read consistency but as I said in the previous videos I'm not gonna you know rush my uh, Art of War book like the previous because I did finish the book technically I should be reading another book but the other book hasn't arrived yet so I had to reread the book but and I don't want to read it fast let's just say that um uh, my day what did I do today I just did fold my clothes it's my clothes has been on the uh clothing line for about six days now so <laughs> i got it talk about being lazy eh? uh, i grab it from the clothing line and fold it and then put it on the drawer uh what else did i do yeah i woke up like really sickly 
because I don't know if it's the weather or if it's the aftermath of the bushfire near our town. I'm not sure, but I feel like shit as soon as that like bushfire, the ash is around the atmosphere. I feel like shit. Um. Yeah, I woke up sickly, and then I drank a lot of water. All right, guys, keep in mind hydrate yourself every day. Do not be like me. <laughs> uh, I hydrated myself, and then I took a nap, and then that made me feel better. And then after that, I, you know, call my missus. Because apparently we're having a cook off. I think my pastel, even though it's her specialty, my pastel is greater than hers. Yeah, uh, as of right now, I'm on a call with my missus and she's looking at me weirdly. But, anyways, don't mind her. I'm just here filming my progress and my the process and yeah we i talk you through the process so you could cook it yourself <clears throat> first we cook the pasta right we grab a pot uh chicken breast uh to me i only did two chicken breasts because those are big boy, I'm telling you. Those chicken breasts are big. Uh, mix that with salt and pepper and vegetable oil. I don't know why vegetable oil. Like there's so many oil. Why vegetable oil? But hey, I'm not, I, I didn't do the recipe. Um, and then boil that. And then when it's boiled, check if the meat was meat is uh soft if it's soft you can turn it off and then shred it like shred the chicken and after you shred that you grab a pan guys just use a stainless steel because those black pan is dangerous they have chemicals on it so stainless steel uh cut some onions and garlic Mince that in, and then put the oil in, vegetable oil, um, cause why not? And then you put onion first. I don't know why we put onion first. It's the same seasoning anyway, but onion first. Um, and then after a few seconds, put the garlic. Normally, I put garlic first, then onion. Yes, you know. Uh, I don't know. It's not my recipe, guys. Um, uh, yeah, and then go, wait until golden brown. And then, what else? And then you put the shredded chicken in there. And then wait till it's golden brown. The shredded chicken of course not the onion and garlic uh, and then when that thing is golden brown you put soy sauce and then mix 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 max 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 as the Indian would say uh, and then I put the vinegar Mix that one as well, and then as soon as that good, put salt and pepper, um, and mix that, and then when it's like really golden brown, dry, you put cayenne, cayenne seasoning, and yeah, um, you mix that and then taste it if it's good. But if it's perfect, then you could turn the stove off. But if it's not, put some cayenne in there, mate, or some magic syrup. And after that, you're done. 
and then it's optional but you could buy ketchup or tomato sauce for americans in russia um yeah uh, you could eat it with rice or eat it with bread but i personally eat it with bread because you can mix it with the you know ketchup mix it and then eat it tastes great but it's without a sauce it's great as well i prefer without a sauce anyways overall um very not productive not chill but meh meh um i although i could have done better but hey man it is what it is i know being not consistent with it it's a recipe for the disaster but hey i'm a human being i like stumble and fall and then get back up i tell you that i'll do it i'll do better next time and i'll you know be consistent as i can be as i can possibly be and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you find it entertaining because i feel like this video is one of the entertaining videos that i ever filmed and my missus is laughing every time i say something but anyways um i hope i inspire you to do what i'm doing as well make sure to take care of yourself look after yourself and uh face the challenge and problems with a head up eye and don't be discouraged by some people who don't know your life because life is a blur if i would say <laughs> uh live in the present don't worry about the past and the future just live in the present and do what you can and yeah have a great day and i'll see you tomorrow week four day seven let's go